All right, everyone. So today, let's talk about some of the best rare champions for arena offense, the reason why, and their skills. Now, as with always, when it comes to these lists, this is not going to be every single rare champion that is good in the arena. There are plenty of other champions in this list that are also going to be good. This is just a list of some of the best. So if I missed out on a few champions or specific rares that you personally use for the arena, that doesn't mean that they are not good or anything like that. And there's always room for part two and part three for videos like this. So with that being said, let's move into number one, a very well-known champion, not just for Arena, but he's going to be known as one of the best rares across the board in Raid Shadow Legends, and that is, of course, going to be Apothecary. Now, Apothecary has some absolutely fantastic skills. One of them in particular is going to be invaluable for the Arena. So if we go to High Elves, he's going to be the first champion on the rare list right here as a support. And the skill for the arena that is going to be super good is going to be Boon of Speed. Places a 30% increased speed buff on all allies for two turns. Fills the turn mirror of all allies by 15%. So it is a five turn cooldown, but with skill books, you can lower it down to a three turn cooldown. Of course, being a rare, it's going to be a lot easier to book rare champions than epics and legendaries. So that's also some good news. And speed is very important for the arena. Going first could make a very big difference. So having an ability as powerful as this with a speed buff, but also a turn meter fill, which is another very powerful skill in the arena, this is absolutely huge. Not only that, but Apothecary also has some other very good skills, including a heal, which can come in extremely handy in the arena. Those of you guys who have faced a very well-built Apothecary, you know in the arena how annoying his heal could end up being. It could make the battle take a lot longer, or, or, or even in certain cases, it can actually be to the point where he's healing to where if you're not well geared enough, you might not even be able to overcome his heal. So you kind of have that problem, very similar to Rhine Beast used to have before he ended up getting nerfed. So very powerful uh, combination of two skills here. He also has his auto attack, attacks three times at random. Not really going to be the best feature for him in the arena. You're not really going to be using him as an offensive arena champion. You're mostly going to end up using him for his turn meter fill, his speed buff right here, and also his seal. This combination of two skills alone though makes him probably one of the best rare champions in the arena. So now moving on to number two in the list. Number two is going to be Spirit Host. Now, Spirit Host is a support champion similar to Apothecary with a very, very good support skill kit. So if we go to Spirit Host, who is going to be in the Dark Elves, we go over here, let's see, here she is. She has some very powerful skills. Now, very similar to Apothecary, the first skill is not really going to be the main reason why she is good, uh, especially in Arena. It's not really super special. Sure, it has a little bit of extra heal on it, but besides that, it's a very basic auto attack. Attacks one enemy, heals by 50% of the damage inflicted, a damage based on attack, of course. But it's not until you get to her second and her third, and even her aura is actually going to be useful for the Arena as well. That's kind of where she's going to get her usability in the Arena. So moving on to her second skill, strengthen four turn cooldown with skill books can be lowered down to a three turn cooldown, places a 50% increased attack buff on all allies for two turns. So that's going to be very powerful in the arena. Now when it comes to the arena, especially for arena offense, you're going to want to try to get as much damage on your champions and burst down champions before they can act because you want to try to act first if you can in a lot of situations, not always of course, but then when you do act first, you can end up killing enemy champions before they get the opportunity to act. And essentially what you do is prevent them from having any turns at all, which prevents them from placing their buffs and using all their utilities. So having an increased attack buff, especially the strong version of it on all allies, is going to be a very strong feature for the arena. Moving on to her third skill, removes all debuffs on all allies, places a block debuffs buff on all allies for one turn. Six turn cooldown down to a five turn cooldown with the skill book. So yes, the cooldown on this is quite long, but still a very, very powerful ability, not just for the arena, but just an overall utility, super strong, especially on a rare champion, having these two abilities, a strong version of a full team increased attack buff and this remove debuffs and block debuffs on the full team, very strong. 
On top of that as well, you also have an aura that is going to be effective in the arena. It's not a very big one, but it is still a speed aura, 10% in all battles as well. So you can even use this aura outside of the arena. But if you don't have any kind of speed aura at all, you're probably going to want to use a speed aura for the arena. It's easily going to be the most used aura because of how important speed is going to be. And while it might not be as strong as some of the other ones, it's still going to be better than nothing. So having these two powerful buff utility skills and also a speed aura on a rare champion, Spirit Host is easily going to be one of the best rares that you can use in the arena. So very very strong now moving on to number three in the list i don't think this is actually a champion that i've talked about in a while if at all but she is going to be very strong in the arena for her burst potential and that is going to be war maiden so war maiden we're going to move into the barbarians here so let's go to barbarians and War Maiden is going to be right over here. Now, War Maiden has some very strong burst skills. She is an attack-based champion, uh, which normally for difficult endgame content, you would probably want to move into defense and HP-based champions. But for the arena, you're really trying to go for that burst potential. If you don't have any epics or legendaries that have that super strong Burst Potential Warp Maiden is going to be a very strong rare that does. So taking a look at her skill kit, Ferocious Attack attacks when enemy has a 30% chance of placing a 2.5% Poison debuff for one turn. Poison in the arena is not really going to be too useful, and Warp Maiden's auto attack is not really going to be the main reason why she's going to be one of the better rares for arena. It's not until you move into her other skills. So attacks one enemy places a 50% increased attack buff on this champion and places an extra hit if this attack is critical. This extra hit cannot be critical. So strong ability, it does have that increased attack buff on a, this champion, not an area of effect. Um, you know, it's good, it's decent, but it's not until you move into her third ability, which is going to make her super strong for the arena. And that is going to be Crumbling Blast. Attacks all enemies has a 75% chance of placing a 60% decreased defense debuff for two turns. You can lower this down to a three turn cooldown and you can also, more importantly than lowering the cooldown, you can increase that buff debuff chance from 75% all the way up to 100%. The cooldowns are not going to be as big of a deal in Arena. You're probably going to be winning the battle in less than, you know, six, five, four turns anyway. So that's why you really want to have at least one, possibly two champions that have a really strong burst. So you have Warp Maiden's full area of effect attack here, but it also has that decreased defense debuff as well, which is now going to make it easier to damage enemies on the next hit as well. So very, very strong skill, uh, specifically for the arena, but it's also just a very good skill overall making warp maiden a pretty solid rare champion but definitely going to be one of the top contenders for rares in the arena just based off of that single skill alone right there so now moving on to number four in the list actually surprisingly a champion that not really that many people think of as a decent rare in the arena a lot of people default to thinking of this champion as the most well-known campaign farmer but he actually has a very strong skill kit for the arena nonetheless. He's just a very, very good rare champion overall, and that is going to be Bellower. Now, if you take a look at Bellower's skill kit, you'll see that there's something very unique about it, and that's what makes him such a strong campaign farmer, but it's also going to end up making him good at the arena for another reason. So Bellower is going to end up being in the Ogren tribes, one of the very few rare champions that I still don't actually have yet. And uh, if we take a look, he's got three skills plus an aura right here. So his first skill, Attacks All Enemies, has a 20% chance of placing a block cooldowns debuff for one turn. You can increase the damage and buff debuff chance from 20 to 30% on that ability right there. His second skill, Attacks All Enemies, has a 50% chance of placing a 50% decreased speed debuff for two turns. And as you can see, that's going to have a cooldown. You can lower it down to three turns and increase the buff debuff chance from 50% up to 75% and his third skill right here, which is probably going to be the best one specifically for arena Attacks all enemies has a 75% chance of placing a 25% decrease Attack debuff for two turns has a 75% chance of placing a 30% decrease de uh, Defense debuff for two turns and similarly it starts off at 75% 
but with skill books, you can lower the cooldown from five to four turns and also increase that buff debuff chance from 75 to 100%. So it's not going to be the stronger version of decreased attack and decreased defense. However, it is still going to be an area of effect skill that you can end up getting to a very decent amount of damage with the proper gear. And you also have two separate debuffs added on top of that area of effect skill as well with a hundred percent chance to apply when fully booked this is a very very strong skill for the arena very similar to warb maiden she had that burst potential skill uh, that had the stronger version of the decreased defense debuff well now you have bellower who has instead of the stronger version of just the decreased defense debuff he has the weaker version of the decreased defense debuff but he also has the decrease attack debuff as well. Uh, on top of that, all of his skills are AoE, so they're always going to be hitting all champions. Um, you know, that's what makes him a really good campaign farmer, of course, but this skill, in combination with his other skills, he also has a decreased speed debuff as well, which is really nice, and that block cooldown skills on the auto attack. So a very, very strong skill kit. Surprisingly, just an extremely powerful overall rare champion for his... Um, area of effect skills and also for his debuffs so uh, his aura increases ally speed in fact encrypts by 15 percent unfortunately not going to be useful for the arena but considering how much other good stuff he has still going to be a top contender for arena rares now moving on to number five on the list this one might be a little bit surprising to you guys but going to be a very very good arena champion and the good news is she's also going to be a very easy champion to farm and a very easy champion to get max skill books on and that is going to be diabolist or diabolist i apologize if i'm not the best at pronouncing that but let's go to demon spawn for this one right here and right here in the rares list first champion and she is going to have some very, very good skills for the arena. So uh, auto attack, not really going to be the best one. Attacks one enemy, has a 10% chance of placing a sleep debuff for one turn. Um, electric storm, here we go. Attacks all enemies, places a 30% increased speed buff on all allies for two turns. Very strong skill right there. You have an area of effect and you also have a speed buff on all allies for two turns. You can lower the cooldown down from four turns to three turns and her third skill is also pretty decent as well six turns but you can lower it down to four with skill books fills the turn meter of all allies by 50 percent decrease the turn meter of all enemies by 15 percent and you guys know how important speed and turn meter is going to be for the arena and of course you have diabolist here who has both speed and turn meter abilities in her skill kit so very strong champion uh, very good rare for the arena and also what makes her really nice is that you can farm her from the brimstone path hey, Those of you guys who do a lot of campaign farming in the brimstone path You're probably going to realize that she's the champion you get a bunch of copies So if you're doing a bunch of campaign farming in stage 12 anyway, you're probably going to come across a lot of copies of her So not a bad idea uh, if you are newer to consider her for the arena so I wanted to mention as a runner-up, even though these aren't in the top five list that I have here, there's still four very, very good champions that are rare for the arena are going to be all the starter champions. So uh, Kale, Ath Aethel, Elhine, and Gaelic, um, all very, very good for the arena. Probably going to be some of the most used rare champions that you're going to see in the arena. And I know I have a couple of videos where I really go into more detail about those champions specifically. So I'm not really going to get into it. But if you guys are using any of those champions for the arena, they all have very strong skill kits. And in comparison to... I would say the average rare champion in Raid Chat Legends, the starters are going to be above average at every aspect of the game. And uh, Arena is going to be no exception to that. So um, definitely decent considerations to make as well. So with that being said, though, that is going to be the list of some of the best rare champions for the Arena offense. As mentioned towards the start, this is not every rare champion that is good for the Arena. This is just some of the best. So I'm sure there are plenty of other rares that are not on this list that you can use. So uh, if you use a certain rare champion and it's not on this list, 
you know, that's totally fine. There's always room for part two and part three as well. But with that being said, that will be it for the video today. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. And if you did, consider subscribing to the channel. Really appreciate all the support, everyone. Thank you, thank you. If you want to help out, tossing a quick like means more than you can imagine. And of course, more Raid Shadow Legends videos should be popping up on the screen right about now. Have a great day, everyone. Take care. And until next time, this is Salt of the Salty Guild signing out.